This is my body, colored, girl. I'm exposed to touch or trash. I'm from North Philadelphia, of the wrong class, of the wrong caste. America, what's so wrong you got laws against this body? There's something about the nature of truth. And um, as Frank O'Hara, the great beat poet, said, the only truth is face to face. When we're, the cameras are not running, when someone has been transgressed against, or one sees themselves unwillingly as a transgressor, who has the strength, the fortitude, to call it, I'm so sorry? I think the sound world for We Shall Not Be Moved starts with the words of Mark Ramuthi Joseph and considering deeply what those words intone, what those words provide and provoke. I made a family of some brothers who self-identify as black. John Henry, John Little, John Blue, John Mack. Black, not like skin. Black, like not supposed to win. Black, like the other side of spacious sky and amber waves. We all black, like antimatter. Some of the core messaging in the opera certainly is hyper contemporary, but it's also um, deeply systemic and historical. These kids are a motley crew of young people from North Philadelphia who right around two, three years ago, as we're experiencing severe budget deficits in the city of Philadelphia and the opening and staffing of schools is compromised, uh, these young people find themselves in a position where um, at least for a few days um, they can't go into their own school. And as often happens, when school isn't a structural option for young people, they get into trouble, um, calamitous trouble, actually. And so we find them at this critical inflection point in their own lives where they don't have family structure, they don't have educational structure, and they don't have judicial parameters. And out of those circumstances, they take flight and go to a place where they think at the very least they might be spiritually inoculated if they're not physically protected. And that place is in West Philly. A couple of folks broke into the crib that's standing at that spot. I heard there's something about the house that's built on the ashes. I heard there's ghosts woke in the ashes of hope. very satisfied to have met uh, Mr. Jones's challenge of what does it mean to create a hybrid opera. So there's operatic singing and there's spoken word and there's hip hop singing and dance. The question of dancing, uh, Mark Bermudi Joseph is a spoken word artist, it's true, an impresario, but he's also a choreographer. He, I've never been faced with a libretto that had so many specific references to dance. He, I sometimes say he's written a choreo poem. Uh, it is uh, an interesting opportunity for me to balance the, um, my interest, text, music, movement, but also to try to keep those vocabularies in equal balance in the evening. Uh, is it equal balance? I don't know if it's equal, but to keep them in a dynamic relationship. There is what you're hearing uh, intellectually through the text. There's what you're hearing feeling through Daniel Bernard Remain's wonderful music. And then these ghosts who are supposed to not really be there, but they are there. Are they the figment of the imagination of Young Ung Sung and her beleaguered brothers? Are they the angry ghosts from something very hurtful that happened in Philadelphia in 1985? Suddenly I can almost see the 
shape of the most graceful orgy. Shit like how I remember my mom before the drugs. Shit like the blood I let run, the blood I let run. Suddenly I realize I'll never have a son. So I hope that audiences release themselves into both um, the narrative that they experience on stage, but also the conversation between the narrative they experience on stage and what's happening outside. And I hope folks are moved in some small way to alter their own trajectory in service of justice. I certainly would want every member of the audience individually to have what I call is a good, important time to learn something um, about Philadelphia and about the MOVE organization, but also to learn something about um, our responsibilities to all of our children and our communities, um, to think really seriously about black music and black musical expressions, um, and to gain insight into the pain and suffering, sacrifice, and victory uh, of um, all of those people who every day um, suffer and sacrifice um, at the hands of others. A work of art can push against those amoeba-like and stretch this discussion, but at the end of day, can you feel the heart of the people who made this? I want people to get on. I'm not interested in anarchy, and I certainly don't want bloodshed. But I do want this thing called, and here we are again, truth. <laughs>